Hello, I am Sharath. Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to discuss about the first chapter of 10th standard that is sensations and responses. How many sense organs do we have? Yes, we have five different sense organs, right? Have you ever thought about how these sense organs work? Today we are going to discuss about the basic concepts behind these mechanisms that is stimulus, receptor, impulse and response. So we know that for the working of eye we need light, right? Without light we cannot see anything. So similarly for the working of ear we need sound and for the working of tongue we need taste like that, right? All these things which helps in the working of sense organs. They are known as the stimulus. So what are the examples for stimulus? That is touch, sound, light, taste. And the stimulus we can classify into two different types. One is the external stimulus and another one is the internal stimulus. What is the difference between this external and internal stimulus? Yes, as the name indicates itself, external stimulus comes from the outside of the body. Like for example, here you can see that is sound, light, touch, pressure, pain, taste. All these things come from the outside of the body. So they are known as the external stimulus. Then what is this internal stimulus? Like hunger, thirst, all these are known as the internal stimulus because they come from the inside of the body. So that is the difference between external stimulus and internal stimulus. All these stimulus are received by a special type of cells which are present in the sense organs. And these specialized cells which are present in the sense organs are known as the receptors. Here you can see the picture of some receptors. And what is the function of these receptors? These receptors will produce some messages and these messages will be carried into the brain and the brain will analyze this message and which helps in the proper functioning of the sense organs. Then what is the name of the message produced by these receptors? They are known as the impulses. So impulses are the messages produced by the receptors and these impulses will be carried into the brain and brain will process these impulses and which helps in the working of the sense organs. Once these impulses are produced, proper responses will be occurred from the sense organs. So we studied about what is a stimulus and a receptor and what is an impulse, right? All these things are needed for the proper functioning of the sense organs. All these uh, things or functions are under the control of nervous system. In 8th standard, we already studied about different types of systems in present in our body, right? For example, nervous system, then we studied about the circulatory system, respiratory system. So all the life actions which are under the control of the nervous system. What are the important parts of this nervous system? That is brain, spinal cord and nerves. So these are the basic parts of the nervous system. So in the next class, we will study about the functions and structure of the nervous system. How you all understood today's class. Thank you so much.